Good afternoon, Professor Frank Shu, President Ko, colleagues and friends and fellow students. I'm Jian Lu, the Vice President of Research and Technology of City University of Hong Kong and the facilitator for today's lecture. Welcome all of you to the City University Distinguished Lecture Series. We are honored to have Professor Fang Shu as our speaker for this distinguished lecture. Professor Shu is a renowned astrophysicist, astronomer. He is a university professor emeritus of University of California at Berkeley and San Diego, a member of the US National Academy of Sciences and currently a distinguished research fellow of Academia Sinica in Taiwan. Professor Shu was president of the National Xinhua University from 2002 to 2006. He joined the faculty at UC San Diego as a distinguished professor of physics in 2006 and also holds the title of university professor at UC system wide owner reserved for scholars of international distinction who are recognized as teachers of ex exceptional ability. Professor Shu is known for pioneering theoretical work in a diverse set of field of astronomy, astrophysics, including the origin of uh, meteorites, the birth and early evolution of stars and the structure of spiral galaxies. Throughout his academic career, he has received numerous honors and awards. In 2009, he was awarded the Shaw Prize in recognition of his outstanding lifetime contributions in theoretical astronomy. Before we listen to Professor Shu's lecture, may I invite our president, Professor Wei Kuo, to deliver a welcome address for us. President, please. Well, Jen, thank you very much. I think this is a really great honor to have Frank here. Um, I don't know how much you know Frank. On the scientific side, you can tell the honor he has received. Those are the highest you anyone can get, including the Shaw Prize. And Frank himself is a, is, a, is a model of what to follow as a lifelong learning. And he's going to talk about uh, climate change. And then my assistant gave me some, some statement to, I, I want to read some statement about him. So <laughs> to let you know, my assistant told me, I don't know where he or she received this one. Unless you have been living on the moon, you must know that climate change is one of the biggest challenges facing humanity. I have to tell you, I was thinking, even though you live on the moon today, the climate change may affect you. If, if the Earth disappeared, some, of the, some part will hit the moon. And in fact, Frank is an expert on this space science. And don't tell me the opportunity, that chance is zero. It won't affect the moon. So that statement is not true. The climate change is real, it's happening. I remember in 1980s when people talk about climate change and a lot of people say, oh, it's just uh, forecasting. Many people did not believe it. But today, I think there are very few who don't believe it. So the, the scientific part will be presented by Frank. So he has moved from many areas to climate change as part of expertise. He also worked with uh, quite a few material scientists. Frank is working on a new type of uh, reactor, which is actually, I think, is uh, fabulous. That's also another thing. In order to do this, you have uh, some, uh, you know, um, special metal to help this uh, prevent the corrosion of some of this re uh, chemical reaction. So you had to work on main part, but that's not what I'm going to talk. I tell you what I want to share with you today. I knew this long time ago, Frank's my friend, but I checked with him. When he left UC Berkeley, he became the president of National Tsinghua University. That's my alma mater. We're so proud of him having our president. At that time, because he, he was born 
you know, and uh, raised in the United States. And he really did not speak Chinese well at that time. He could not read Chinese. Am I correct? I'm sorry. But today, he's an expert in speaking Chinese. He can read Chinese well. It's amazing. That's what I just want to share with you. And Chinese is not an um, easy language to master. So I think he's something I was always watching him admire. He can use his uh, scientific mind to learn things in many, many dimensions. I think it's, uh, it's amazing. So we look forward to look at how the climate change really will affect our daily life. So let's give him um, a round of applause. Welcome. <laughs> Frank, thank you.